Oh, well, I guess that move was taken from when Goku was uh, no, Vegeta was finding Raccoon. Or at least the end part when they're slammed down on the ground anyway. And you follow up with the final flash. It's amazing what you can learn when you watch the Namasaga again. Well, how close are we going to do the zoom up? Going, going, going. Aww. I was hoping we like go right up on our face and like, yeah, a very awkward close up. As Renault, so could resist, resist these powerful foes? Well, maybe Goku, but uh, you know. Kind of bedridden with a failing heart, so yeah, he's kind of not doing so well right now. Is that medicine Trunks gave him actually grape flavored? I know this is a really weird thing to talk about right now, but I'm curious. Was it actually grape flavored? That'd be nice. So Vegeta is not doing so hot right now. He actually got his arm broken too in the fight. And Trunks has a bright idea. Hey, I can fight these guys in the future. I can take him on now. Darn it. I'm bad here though. There are two, two Super Saiyans at once. Uh, Androids of the future would be boned. Unfortunately, stuff and things happened that kind of prevented from happening. Okay, this is definitely Trunks' fight, so I'm gonna keep gonna keep him in. And then Tian, in case things go south. Two level 199 androids coming up. And of course, fucking 17 still has an unblockable rush move. I don't even mind so much if it was a high speed rush unblockable, but the fact that it is one of the ping pong ones. Yeah. I already missed fighting Team Trunks. That was so good. It sometimes feels like his his sword doesn't have enough stopping power by itself. It's so strange. It just feels like it's just great sometimes. It doesn't do anything. Ah, shit! I'm exposed to wave. I need to use it. Ah, this move is so boring because everyone has it. Literally, pretty much everyone in the game has that move. Yeah. By everyone, I mean like 30% of the cast probably has that rush in some, in some shape or form. Their burning attack is only three bars. Yeah, it's only three. Sweet. If you went to that fucking blast, dude, I swear to God. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Explosive wave. Always a great defensive maneuver. Yeah. Uh, I'll really whiff that one. I want me to stay over here for a minute so I can charge and hit. No! I'm not winning that one. Uh, if only you can use Explosive Wave when you're flying like that. Yeah, I'm definitely tagging out Trunks after this one. Falling! One slash, done. Yay. Point, it was that simple. Although, if it was Trunks after Perfect Cell Slack, I'm pretty sure he could do that. Alright, that's so I can roll. Ah, Christ. How did she predict that? You know, I was thinking I was immediately going to lose that, so I'd start mashing on the A button. My bad. Alright, and actually, I still have no idea what the button input is to tag out, so I'm just gonna hold L, hold down, and rotate the control stick a, little time, a few times. I think it worked. Yeah, this works a little better. This is not going according to plan. Luckily, Piccolo still has one of the best blasts of the game White Grenade! Goes by a couple different names throughout the games. Although it kind of just sticks the light grenade from here on up. I think. I don't even know if he has that move in Burst Limit. I'm assuming he does. No, he especially he can't in Ultimate, and he definitely has Hellzone Grenade. Yeah, that's cute. Any others? Not that one! Oh my god! The tracking on those fuckers. You're still hitting me, Jesus Christ. Alright. Full free combo for Kaiokosen. I really need to figure out different ways to use that move. I mean, it's unblockable and just get your free combo. It's the annoying Psychokinesis move, cooler and freeze ahead. I'm kinda glad Tian was leveling up. He's the one character I really do want to level up and max out. Roach, I just don't spam enough. 
And then Vegeta is pissing himself because his pride's kind of shattered everywhere, all over the floor. And his ass. And Gavin Droids are off to dick around. It's funny, they want to destroy Goku, but they're kind of just like do it, taking a sweet time about it. They hijack a truck and go driving across the countryside to look up to Goku. Yeah, I'm sure in a scenic route will definitely get you started faster. Maybe Goku will come to you because they're impressed with 17's driving skills. Who knows? Anyway, Piccolo's got things in store so he can fight the androids, and now a new threat is apparently on Horizon. Wait, did we already do it? Did we already do the fusion with Kami? Why are we doing this? What? Ah, come on, we just completely glanced over how Piccolo had to take like 12 episodes to decide if he wants to use a Kami or not. Ugh, fuck. Now there's a, now there's a couple of bean socks back there in the background with a tail. Jesus Christ. What do you want? I'm, t I'm brooding over how we didn't see Kami if he's a Piccolo. Show yourself, you monster. Oh, yeah, that's my favorite character in the entire fucking show. You're next, Piccolo. Is he gonna do the line? How do you know my name? Please tell me they're gonna do the line. We're brothers. Yeah, they did the line! Ha! <laughs> I love that line. <laughs> I'm so introduced to himself, he's like, well, one might say that we're brothers, you and I. I love that to no one. Anyway, so this is Cell, best villain in the show, period. Without second thought. Right up there, right above Cooler, and kinda on the other side of the spectrum from Broly and Mutt Fat Boo. Ready? I wanna argue that Super Boo isn't a bad villain. After he absorbs Piccolo, he's actually really good. Anyway, so this is Cell, and we're gonna do this in afterwards, so I'm not really gonna waste my time explaining it. Because it'd be very hard for me to do a Cell while I'm facing him. We'll do it again. There we go. Full combo. And I'm going to spike him with his flies on the ground. Damn. Luckily, Piccolo's a fucking ground throw. Kick on the air. And Hell's Own Grenade. This is a good thing, so really st stands no chance against Pickle in this form. Until the power is up immensely and is suddenly able to one-shot him. That is a massive spike. He takes in power level after doing that. Anyway, so you may be asking yourself, wow, well, why is he your... F oh, Jesus Christ, really? Okay, this this kind of summarizes him pretty well. Come on a mission to absorb Android 17 18. And I guess we're really not going to elaborate on that at all. He can suppress his power level. What? It's like we've never seen this before. Okay, so I'm going to Sunrise Cell as best as I can right now. Cell is from an alternate future where he killed Trunks, took his time machine, and came back in time. And he was developed by Dr. Zero as a because he knew Android 17 and 18 would betray him somehow. So, yeah, he took a time machine, came back to the past because the the alternate timeline he came from Trunks used the remote device to kill the androids so he t killed Trunks took a time machine came back in time and now he's on a hunt for the androids yeah and he is in development in this timeline but it will take like 20 years for him to be fully developed yep I think it's basically something I did pretty well so Pickle here has the idea whoa now we have a problem. Cell reaches the perfect form. We're all fucked, and he needs his androids to do so. So I'm gonna kill the androids. Which, granted, is a very good idea, but if you don't talk, I will kill you in no time flat. Got it? The only flaw in this plan is that uh, I won't fall Cell can sense energy fast. levels. You know, you can't sense the androids. Which, if you just left the androids and Cell alone, I'm well. If you just target Cell, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to kill him eventually. But nah, gotta fight the androids. The one thing that will lead Cell right to you. Yeah, details. And of course, Cell is voiced by probably one of the coolest voice actors ever, Damian Clark. We got replaced by, unfortunately, in the Kai dubs, he was replaced by Travis Willingham, although apparently DBZ Kai kind of does that. Switches it back to Damian Clark in some instances. Ow. Don't mind Dam uh, Travis Willingham as a voice actor who voices Roy Mustang in Full Metal Alchemist. I'm certain you guys know more about him than I do because I haven't watched FMA yet. 
Come on. Why am I still wearing this while I'm fighting him? It's weird. And Brad and I had a really funny name for Charles Willingham. I just can't remember it off the top of my head. Anyway. Almost done. Just gotta ship him out a little more. I should be done. Damn it. Ugh. Androids on Mac recharge. Sometimes very convenient for me, sometimes very inconvenient for me. Because they could just, I could just do con comboing them for days and all of a sudden, BAM! Come back. Sometimes point thousand depending on who I'm fighting. Mostly Metacooler. So yeah. It's funny because after Piccolo refuses to call me, Android 17 and Piccolo are totally evenly matched. Which is amazing. Yep, because Cell could sense Piccolo's energy because he was buying Android 17. Oops, a little detail that got overlooked when he thought about this plan. Yeah, just a minute one, you know. And Grant in in Cell's fight against Piccolo and 17, well, more 17 because Piccolo does get nuked in one punch to the face, which results in like the coolest ultimate ever. Uh, yeah, Cell's kind of ridiculous at this point. Remember this day, the day I become complete. Oh, he's skipping the really cool speech he gives. Enough. There, that's the spirit. I don't want to know shit about this guy. Cell's only level 151. I think that was the same level from last time. That's odd, considering we should be reflecting how he just powered up with er with a bunch of dead people's souls. No, really, go ahead and watch that. It is freaky as hell. I throw a couple of that in somewhere. I don't know. There's a lot of clips of the cell sock I want to throw into these videos. I just don't know when I should do it. That would be kind of too jarring. But anyway. Cell here should be destroying Piccolo with one move. Oh my god, did so much damage. Ow. Sakura kicked in the face. Yeah, that's one way to do it, Cell. Unfortunately, Cell's form and this form and his next form are kind of weak in the melee attacks. He does have special beam cannon and Kamehameha, which I think um, I can make some one of the few characters in the game that has two chargeable blast two moves. And his ultimate, oh my god, his ultimate is just full and absorbing, like sucking people's energy. He has tail. And it's really good. Unfortunately, he gets as a blast two in his next form, which makes him really good as a defensive tank. You like my cock? And 16's like, I'm bored. I'm gonna go kick the shit out of that giant beetle over there. Whatever insect it was, Boma compared it sells thing to. I think it was a Zekaiah or something. I don't remember. Something really innocuous. It was. I definitely know that. Hey, oh my god, I'm actually playing as a 16. Holy crap. I never thought I'd be playing a 16 inside of the story mode. This is pretty cool. Or was on the old world. Oh my god, he moves like a freighter. He is so slow. It's not like we're having a field day fighting him. King Kai! Wait, look at this picture. I am playing as Android 16, and I'm on King Kai's world. There are so many things wrong with this picture, it's baffling, but I kind of like it. Also, what? Oh boy. This is going to be one of those fights, isn't it? Ugh. Yep. Yep. Okay, I'll attempt this, and then if it does not work out very well, yeah, I might just fast forward this entire thing personally. Hey, it's our full health, uh, full energy at least. So I can at least show off what 16 can do. First of all, health slash. Which is my personal favorite move of his. Ah, shit. No. Let's take a note that whenever you, you fight uh, enemies through on King Kai's planet, they have their alternate outfits on. So, for example, if you can barely see between. Uh, him flashing yellow. By the way, do not do Android 16's ultimate. I, I implore you to not do so. Because it's the one where he self-destructs and self-destructing is sometimes not a good thing. Also, his key attacks are kind of unreliable because it was slow and require him to take his arms off first. That's really weird out of context, I know. There we go. Yeah, switch to the face. Luckily, they track pretty well, but they just take forever to fire off. 
Yeah. Hey, core core alternate oh, color. Ready to I swore I was gonna win that one. Wait, what does he have for moves? Pump up. Which I might be gone in I don't know. Anyway, forgive me if I'm kind of playing poorly right now. I'm not familiar with 16's moveset. Outside of his three decent blast twos. Oh my god, how is he standing? Luckily, I have explosive wave. Regular version. It's weird, because usually they always have android barriers. I don't like I'm spending this on anything else. I mean, I'm certainly not going to rip off his ultimate. That, or rip out his ultimate. That's a dumb idea. Bam! Oh. Unfortunately, his last two rocket punches are very linear. Bing, bop, bing, done. Okay. Let's see if this will land. Okay. And hopefully he will not be riding my face again. Gold guard. He is standing. What the hell? Man, he is gr a graceful tugboat right now, isn't he? Ow. God damn it. Throw doing that much damage, huh? Well, it is kind of ridiculously high leveled. Oh, please stop doing that. I don't like it when I let a charge go early on the sun. It gives me another move after it. That's so That's really bad. Oh my god, that's good. Never mind. I actually should use Pump Up more. Not only is it, it's basically making me better. Yeah, I should actually find some status for that. That was over, you're wrong! This is odd because Tenkai HE 3, whenever you use Pump Up, it puts an energy drain on you, but also raises your attack power. Not by much, but still. Here, just charges, makes everything on you awesome. Damn. 10 levels, huh? Nice. Must have been everything going from plus 1 to plus 2. Jesus.